What in the name of Jeffrey Bezos has happened here? One of my villagers has been zombified and has been, has somehow moved, and the other one is fine. But what? What? How? How did this happen? <laughs> I've been away from the Rollwood Dice SMP for about two weeks. That's it. Two weeks. The first week I was away in Scotland. The second week I was releasing some songs, and it seems my villagers have somewhat been compromised. Anyway, putting that beside us, I would like to finish my starter base today. This is probably not going to be the easiest task in the world, considering I have pretty much no idea what I'm going to be doing. Apart from the fact that I know that I want, like, uh, uh, some kind of, like, bridgey thing made of wood extending out over the water. And also a road. I want a road made of potentially concrete, potentially cobble depending on what I have in here and the reason I have this sudden urge to finish my starter base is because I want to get on with my actual base um, because I have some very big plans and I want to start that potentially later in this episode this is the kind of thing that I'm thinking for a road it's really really wide but that's good it gives me a lot of space out the front that the problem is it is literally just a sea of stone so I may have to mix in some stuff every now and again uh, I am not a fan of this big block of cobbled deep slate. It, that's pretty much what it is. I'm trying to make this symmetrical, sort of. I think maybe if I have like a path going around just to where my villagers are, or well, were. I'm not even sure if this is operational anymore. I can't cure this villager now because I've run out of stuff to do so. Obviously have to get rid of the big creeper hole. That is a bit of a problem. I made this a bit more flat. I think it looks better. You can see more of the villager house. You can tell that it's a villager house. Right, let me get some of this dirt. Because there is quite a bit of terraforming which I have to do here. Not just around this side. In fact, this side's the easy part. The hard bit of terraforming is over here where I have to extend the land, basically. So that it turns into a pier over the water. <laughs> but I think I have actually managed to do it. As you can see, I've started on the dock area going out over the water. That's probably about as far as it's going to go. I want to have a little building on the end. Basically just a fishing hub spot because this is my fishing place. And I'm going to actually work a bit more on the dock now. I want to build the bridge predominantly out of campfires. I have not got much coal at all. This is going to be an alarming amount of campfires, seriously. I think this is pretty good. However, I've got a bit carried away. Look at this. This is the result of uh, probably a couple hours now at this point. Uh, work of I me mean, just sitting down and going, right, I want to get loads done. It looks so nice. I'm so happy with this. And also, Flamingo's grave still lives, of course. So as you can see, I've got another road taking shape, and it's going to lead down this way to around here, which is where my big base is going to be, my, my mega base, I guess. It is going to be huge. I have some massive plans. So before we can get started on that, I need to do this road, and I also need to do a lot of terraforming around here. Because the road is going to be floating otherwise, and it'll look a bit odd. I also need to work out a lighting solution for this road. This stuff will all happen in due course. It has been several hours in the making, but here we go. This is what we're looking at for this road, which is going off away from my base. I love this. It's, it just looks so cool. Additionally, I've done terraforming around here to extend the land out a bit. And in an effort to prevent as much mob spawning... I have lit up the area around as well. Here's a bit more terraforming. And I've blocked it off here specifically because my mega base will begin in this area. And I'm not going to give away too much, but I will say that the reason I haven't continued anything like the terraforming or anything is because this bit of the base here is going to go down fairly deep underground. That's why I have decided to stop the road here rather than having it continue because there is this nice dip for me to base this underground portion of my base in so i believe my starter base is uh, is finished i don't think there's anything more that i want to add because now i want to move on to my mega base i don't want to rush things or anything but things are going very quickly is finishing the starter base and starting the mega base in the same episode a bit much i don't think so particularly because the pacing of this series is completely messed up anyway because i converted from like live streaming it to making videos on it it was it's a bit odd basically in the span of several months we've achieved what a span of several weeks would ordinarily do probably and before we move on i just want to show you a few things i made some path leading to the p.o box and also my nether wart farm over there 
there's actually stuff in the PO box, which is lovely. I don't know who left those. And this is another secret I found while I was just basically working around up here. If you come up here, break the block. Someone's actually come up here and built a secret area in the top of my base. And I have no doubt in my mind that this is Will and Oscar. There's so many signs telling me that it's them. Not actual physical signs, but metaphorical signs such as these invisibility potions and the fact that it's basically a meeting room. This has to be some kind of temporary base for Will and Oscar to maybe spy on our meetings in here. So I'm going to keep it there because I quite like it. But I, I'm just, I'm in shock at that. You can't fool me two series in a row with the old secret room. I know that that's Will and Oscar. Oh my goodness, there's an assault happening. That was probably a mistake. Oh no, that was a bigger mistake. That was a much bigger mistake. Aqua says he's going to help with the raid. Okay, uh, while he does that, I'm just going to show you what I've done. The base has begun. Look at this. This, this is how it's going to begin. You can probably see where the dip in the ground is going to be. It's it's here. This, I'm going to dig this out layer by layer. Uh, this is also going to be a deep pit, but not as deep. And I would love to get cracking on this right now, but I have a raid to fight. Okay, with the raid done and out of the way, I think it is time to continue with the base, the mega base even. And this is pretty big by itself. This is only a small part of it. Like this is the center. There's going to be so much more. I am going to time lapse this because I think it'll be extremely satisfying, but I just want to explain my thought process behind this base. I went to Scotland recently, as I said a little bit earlier on, and more specifically, I went to Edinburgh. While I was there, I was massively inspired by the architecture of Edinburgh. So I am basically making a city for my mega base that is along the lines of the architecture in Edinburgh. And in particular, they have this one park, which has a massive, like, dip in the middle. I'll, I'll, I'll put some reference pictures on the screen, actually, um, from when I was there. I took loads of pictures, and I'm going to be using those pictures to make this base, basically. They had this park that has a train station in the middle, and it is in, like, a dip in the ground like this. So I'm going to try and recreate that. Not exactly, but in, in my own way. And also, instead of it being a train station, I'm instead going to have it as an ice boat, an ice pathway. And this ice pathway is gonna to go to one place and one place only, and that is where everyone else lives. Because I, everyone put their bases like really close together. I was the only person who didn't do that. So <laughs> I'm gonna have an ice pathway that goes off to where their bases are. As long as I can get unbreaking on my shovel, this is going to be a very, very satisfying time lapse. I hope you enjoy it. There's only one beacon on this realm and that belongs to Aeron, so I asked very nicely and he said that I could borrow his beacon so that I can do this excavation significantly faster, so massive thank you to Aeron. Let's continue with the time lapse. <laughs> that I have done in that time lapse. This is about as far down as I wanted to go. Uh, I don't want it to go particularly deep. So now the challenge is leveling out this side and that side, probably around somewhere in the middle. So in reality, this isn't gonna seem like that deep of a hole. And it's not really, it's about 15 blocks. And the reason I stopped it there is because right under there, there's caves, as you can see from like the holes, which I filled in with dirt. And to be honest, I don't wanna be contending with caves as well during all of this. And this work isn't going to do itself, so let me get started. So it has taken a while to get to this point, but this is what we're looking at now. This looks pretty good in my opinion. Obviously, it's just a bunch of holes at the moment. Uh, this side is lower down, and that's because I don't want this to be symmetrical. This is going to be very asymmetrical, I guess. Asymmetrical. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How old am I? Five? 
This is supposed to be a very asymmetrical build and I think I'm going to achieve that by having different layers. So I guess this is the lowest layer, this is second lowest and then that's like the highest layer. And also this side and this side, the terraforming is going to be like very different. Not very different, but it's going to be not the same on both sides, basically. I don't really want to do any more on this in this episode, but we have a bit of time left. So, uh, because Aqua is on right now, Daisy's on holiday, unfortunately, but Aqua is on. And I think I'm going to call him over here for a meeting because I want to show him the secret room, which Oscar and Will have built up here. Because I think this is very important, particularly because of... Wait. Well, it didn't say in this station before. I don't know about this. This I did not see. Okay, someone's been in here. I'll assume Oscar, because Will's on holiday. Uh, in this station. Important cohorts. Base. That That's massive. That's the location of their base. Hang on, wait. Let me go inside. One of the things they said when I was live streaming. 50.333 times by 3 is the nether x cohorts of our base. Uh, that's 150.999. Let me double check this a sec. Let, let's go 151. Let's round. 151 times 8. Let me do 150.999 times by 8. 1,207. If that matches up with the coordinate up here. one thousand one hundred. That's close enough for it to probably be true. Uh, this is kind of important. I have called him over. I've called him over because this is kind of important. How stupid can they be to leave their base coordinates up there? I guess they weren't expecting me to find it. I found something disturbing. <laughs> so, I was... I've been pottering around my doing my base, as you can see. It's pretty it's changed a lot. Um... Have you seen this, by the way? I just want to flex this. I discovered something that Will and Oscar have made. Or well, I'll assume it's them. In the roof of my base, I found this. Look at this. Oh, what's this? That, Could that's... this be their base? Yeah, their base coordinates. That's what I was thinking. In this station as well. We got in this pot. Conveniently enough, two of them. So, we're going to follow these chords, right? We're, we're going to yeah. see what's there. Yeah. Do you we're think... see what's there. Is it worth waiting for Daisy to get back from holiday? I don't think so. I think I think we should do it. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to hey, your house man, before well. you can. Uh oh. Oh, I actually I I took barely any damage from that. I was I was terrified. <laughs> I've had enough of creepers exploding in my face today. Have you had a lot? Have I've you had, had some creeper problems? Oh, uh, I'm on two hearts. <laughs> it's fine. I have a totem with me. Oh I have many totems in my ender chest. I'd be fine if I died. <laughs> Whoa, there's a never portal. That's a shape of a sword. Oh, I see the sword. Did I say that? That's awesome. I can see I like see. an amethyst UFO looking thing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm out there right now. I'm out there right now. Oh, I see. Hey, I see you. Hello. Uh, a building that looks like it's burnt. There's a goat and a dog. Very random. Oh, the goat and a dog do in there. The goat. The dog. It's a love story. Oh, I, I see some secrets, you possibly. I don't know what this is, but there's a massive hole. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out of said hole again. So I'm just going to plonk water down there. A load of diamonds. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay, we're... We're all friends. I'm not going to take the diamonds. Or am I? Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Even. I wonder how these tunnels were created. Because these seem like TNT explosions. But TNT would do nothing to stone. Like, it can't be TNT if, if it did this much damage. How can it be creepers? You think they brought a bunch of creepers down here? If it's... No. It, it's going to be a no, wither, isn't it? Random things, even though they don't make sense. There is only one thing that could make this much destruction, and that's a wither. They've killed a wither. That, that's that's what we've gathered from coming here. They've killed a wither, and and there were there were diamonds here. Did you take the diamonds? Did you take? Did there was diamonds here? Did you take them? Wait, where, where were the diamonds? Here, like by where the by where the iron is. There were diamonds here. I swear. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. You know how there's three people online right now? Yeah. There's there's us two. Yeah, it is. Who's that one other person? He's with us. He he's he has got to be down here and he knows we're here. Why would he get rid of the diamonds? I mean, I didn't take him. My inventory. I didn't Ooh. take him either. There's a netherite block in my in my inventory. This came out of nowhere. Before we leave, let's just search their chests because if if there's more netherite, I will <laughs> I will take it. We're villains. We are uh, we are supposed to be villains here, right? We are so evil, and we and we well, take the netherite. Second. Hold on a second. There was a there was a sign here. There's a sign here, and it wasn't there before. What does it say? Someone's watching us. Well, Oscar knows we're here, then. That That's just more confirmation that he knows we're here. He knows that we're here. Oscar Basie. Oh. Oh, look. Wait, I just, found, I just found a lodestone company. New... Are you joking? There's a compass that says new Basie. New base. New base. Is this not their base? Damn it! God Damn it! Say. Damn it! Angrily sips really? Coke. Oh, this is what I thought it was our chance to raid. Well, yeah. Not raid, but see their plans. But what no, they they're smart. They have two layers of base. Of course, they're not going to leave their base coordinates on a sign. It's fine. We have this compass, which they probably weren't yeah. anticipating us finding. We should head there. We should head there now. Oh. Oh. Oh, look. This looks awesome. Look at this. Is it? Wait, is this their base? Oh, look at this. Is this? Oh, okay. Here's the. Aqua. Aqua. Crouch, 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 crouch. Invisible skin. Go. Invisible skin. You go invisible skin. I'm. Right, here we go. Take invisible the. Wait, skin. where are you? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Ah! I'm gonna pass you the compass. I don't know where you are. I'm gonna pass you the compass. I oh, no. And you need to wait. You need to lag it to the portal. Where are I'll you? Go to the portal. Yeah, yeah. You need to go to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Go to the portal. Okay. I'm gonna. Go through the portal. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna pass you the compass. Wait. Okay. Where are you? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna chuck it on the floor. I just chucked the compass on the floor. Chuck Don't let him get it. Did you get it? I got it, I got it. Okay, you go through the portal. He doesn't know where you are. I'm just gonna swing my sword at him a few times. I have no chance of beating him, so I'm just I'm just gonna do this for a bit. Right, let's go. I'm gonna use up my totem because I'm not scared of death. And then I'm gonna leg it through the portal. I'm going through, I'm going through. Oh, that was scary. You do have the compass, right? Okay, good, good, good. New base. I'm trying to. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go up in the tower, see if there's anything. Actually, that might I'm not be. Invisible. That might not be the wisest move, considering I'm on I'm three hearts. That's good. Okay, I use my totem. I can't get my water. I ca I can't be bothered to get my water actually. I'm gonna go through the portal. Oh, I should kill their dogs. I need to kill their dogs. I need to. I need to do at least something. Oh no, this is the place where I almost lost the life. The compass. What? The I've compass. come I've come through at a different place. I don't know where this is. But there's there's some circles made out of What where am I? What? I don't oh I was I was gonna go back through and kill one of their dogs, but I guess I can't. I get if look if we go back we can kill the dogs and there's probably stuff there that we need. We have the compass. That that's important. We have the compass. We have the most important thing right now, which is the compass. Yeah, we don't have to go all the way through the overworld. We can we can just go through the portal because it was about eight hundred blocks away. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> okay, I know I know where this is. I know where this is. Um. Okay. Good meeting. I'm gonna go back. Wait, actually. Uh, where, where are we gonna put the compass? Your ender chest. Put okay. Put it in your ender chest. Uh, okay. We can get it out the next yeah, meeting. We need to wait for Daisy. <sighs> we need to tell Daisy about this. Yeah, we do. All right. Good meeting. 
So yeah, to round off this video, I just want to talk about a little problem I've been having. I used to use one specific recording software to record all my videos. And I had no problems with that whatsoever. I used it throughout all of Agent 87. It worked perfectly fine. But now, with Roll the Dice, there's people on Discord that I need to talk to. And that's a bit of a problem. Because my recording software that I used before doesn't support Discord. Or it doesn't support being able to hear the desktop audio. I have a possible way of tackling this for recording. But for streaming, I have literally no clue what to do about it. It's safe to say that it's a little bit annoying. I also prefer to record without face cam. I have been poisoned by a witch. My main problem with, with OBS right now is that the face cam and the audio go out of sync after a while. You can probably tell that it might be doing it right now. I'm not sure. And I don't know why it's doing this. Genuinely, it's fine when I start. But as it goes on, it just gets progressively worse. Especially when I'm live streaming. I've tried using Streamlabs OBS to fix the problem, and it seems to fix that problem. The other problem, then, is that it's too laggy for anything to work. Literally anything. So tell me what you think in the comments, and click here, because this is a really good video. I guarantee you. This video, on my left, great video right now. And if you want to subscribe, click here, on my right. This channel has simply the best quality videos. Not necessarily visually, but uh, the ideas are there. And what would an artist be without his ideas?